Hey you, my name is DeHopster and welcome to Isla's Jack. So, this is actually the first game that I've uh, recorded, in, recorded in a good long time. I've been incredibly busy, I, I've had stuff recorded, I just haven't had any time to upload or edit or literally do anything. Anyway, besides the point, I am here to play Eyeless Jack, a horror game where you move in with your brother and stuff starts happening, I think. I don't know. The, the more blind I go into these games, the better. So, let's get into it. Hello, my Hi. name is Mitch. Oh. I'm here to tell you about an experience I had a few months ago. Okay. I have no idea if it was paranormal or whatever stupid words people used to describe supernatural phenomena. But after this experience, I started to believe in it. Okay. Tell me if you guys actually believe in paranormal well, stuff. Those are my last things. I'm glad you didn't leave me in this, Edwin. Your family, Mitch. Of course I'd be here for you, man. Let's just move those boxes inside already. It's getting cold. <laughs> Sounds good. Let me let me pick up my box. Box. Everything's good. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I might look over here a lot because uh, I, again, it's been literally a good long bit since I've uh, where do I, where do I put this in here. Cool. All right. Uh, you know, you, you don't have to help me. You don't have to. It's fine. I'll take care of it myself. You just stand there, folding your arms, you know, just don't help your brother or nothing. Okay, good. I, I actually don't have to click anything. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was talking to you so badly. Don't stand there so menacingly. Thank you. <laughs> I'll just I'll just do all the dialogue for everyone. Kind of cool, huh? I'm actually wondering if um like these pictures right here. I'm wondering if those are by the creator or something. I don't know. I have to go find out because it seem like they would be. All right, uh, brother of mine, what are, what are we doing? What are we doing? You started smoking, huh? You want one? No. Oh, thanks. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. Why don't you get some rest? You had quite a long ride to get here. That's not a bad idea. I'm pretty tired. All right. Good night, then. Okay. Good night. I mean, I could use a snack though. I'm a little, I'm a little hungry. Maybe a little cranky. I don't know. I could take a fat one. I haven't, I haven't gone to the bathroom yet. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go to sleep. What is that? Whoa. The window open? Wait, was the window open before? I don't think it was. Sorry, you probably hear a plane flying over. This sure is taking its sweet time to fly over my house. Okay, good. Plane's gone. Plane is gone. Uh, Edwin. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, man. Did you sleep well? No. Yeah, not bad at all. I only heard some strange rustling outside, but I guess it was just a raccoon or something. Yeah, I agree. That's most likely it. <laughs> Would you mind raking the leaves outside the house? I will make breakfast in the meantime. Okay. Sure the rake is somewhere around the entrance. Sure, buddy. I will do house chores. Oh, wow. Me. All right, let's rake this up. You cooking in there? 
You cooking? Smells like bacon. I can't wait to eat some bacon. Yeah, okay. Hey, do, do you have any neighbors? No. I don't really have any neighbors. Okay. <gasps> There's dirt on my leaves. Are you done? Did you finish? Is breakfast ready? Look at that! That oh. There's no bacon. Just in time. I cooked some eggs. But no bacon. Nom 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 nom. I am eating, I am good. And it is twelve fifty six. We just skipped the whole day. Hmm? Can I go outside? I really like that it becomes a little more cinematic at this point. That's really cool. Okay, I'll go show my bug to sleep. Hey, Edwin? Hey, Edwin? I heard some stuff outside. What's going on? What the hell happened to you? Take a look in the middle. What are you talking about? Uh, okay. Let me go look in this really dark mirror. Oh. An hour later. Someone's trying to kill me. Hmm. It seems like you've been sleepwalking, Mitch. I have no other explanation for that. That's strange. What? Indeed. But there is something more disturbing than that gash. How did you... How did you... you somehow lost your kidney last night. What? what? Unfortunately, we don't know how that happened. I'm sorry, Mitch. What? No, 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 no. I am not a sleepwalker, okay? Unless I am, and that's that's just really convenient. But no, 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 no. We're not doing that. That's not. I'm. A, I'm not accepting it. Before you go, could you please sign this paper? No, no, I won't sign your stupid Take paper. Care, Mitch. Thank you. Thank you. I guess you misdiagnosed me. Yeah, I ain't sleepwalking. You idiot. Okay, uh, hey Edwin, how's it going? How did it go? Bad. He thinks I'm sleepwalking. That's bullshit. How could this be the case? I don't know. It's all f***ed up. Anyway, take this key. It belongs to your room. Sure. Take the key. And Mitch. Nope. If there's anything bothering you, you can always tell me about it. I know. Thanks, Edwin. Tell him! Why don't you just tell him? Like, hey, last night my window was... You're the murderer. Edwin is the murderer. I don't believe... I don't believe you're my brother. In fact, you're probably... You're probably... Are you a skinwalker? Is that what you are? Are you a skinwalker? I think he's a skinwalker. He's a skinwalker. Uh, make sure that's all locked up. There we go. No one's getting in now. Sleep. Okay. 12.05 a.m. Oh, boy. The window is open. Oh. Hi. Crap. I need my... Get the... Get the camera! Get the camera! Get the camera! All right, taking a picture! Ah! Get out of here! Stay in there! Stay in there! What? Well, the window's kind of open. I don't think that's really all that effective. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, buddy. That wasn't effective whatsoever. That was just as effective as when Jill. Oh shoot! Whoa! Ah! Where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? 
That was just as effective as when Jill put down the bookcase to stop. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 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 Where's my legs? They took my legs, doctor. Some good and bad news. The good news is that you only had minor injuries and your parents are going to pick you up. Okay. What's the bad news? However, the bad news is that your brother, Edwin, was from there. Oh. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Me too, man. I don't even know what was going on. You're the killer. He's the killer. I'll just take my camera and head back. Okay. Oh, I love the cinematic. Oh, that's so cool. Mom! Mom! He's right there! Mom, come help me! I'm an adult, but... Shut up, phone! I... 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 Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna just walk over your dead open body. What's that thing on the floor? A body? What the frick? the frick is that? Is that his heart? Is it supposed to be his heart or his liver? Probably his liver. Dude has a thing for livers, apparently. Get it. Okay, it's time to leave. Are you okay, son? Yeah, I'm okay, Dad. Nope. No, you're not. My man's about to have PTSD. Eyeless Jack. Honestly, that was pretty good. Um, I I think my favorite thing about that was the the cinematic bars would come in, and it made it it made it actually made this game feel well okay cinematic. It felt like I was playing a story. It, it, I, I and I know that it, that's kind of a loaded thing to say. But that felt like I was legitimately playing more of a story. The only thing is that shutting and locking that door made no sense. Because the window was already open. That was literally just as... You know how at the beginning of um, Resident Evil 3, uh, the new one, Jill is running through the, the building and there's the part that she grabs the bookcase to stop Nemesis, and it's just like, that dude busted through a wall, a brick wall, and you just thought, I'm just gonna put this bookcase here and think it stops them. It's like, that did nothing. It literally did nothing. So, that's probably the only thing, but ah, whatever. It, we need the story to happen. That's why. We need it to be intense. But I will have this link down in the description if you guys would like to go play it for yourself. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please press the like button down below. If you want to see more videos that I've done, check out the description and the annotations in the video. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. See ya!